We're gonna lose out on one-to-one -one support with Gay Man. The other thing that's gonna go is Gay Man's health retreats, workshops, you name it. Learning about uh, healthy relationships or uh, safe sex practices uh, that's gonna be Gay Man focused, it's gonna go. Healthy Community supports the LGBT community in many ways. One of those is through social support. I'm very worried about those fragile in our community who won't have this support anymore. I'm angry. There are too many of the people who I love, part of my family, part of my community, who died from HIV that used to turn to AIDS. We're at a different point now in the real experience and now we're being shunted away. It's not right. This is being done over the bodies of dead gay men. Really an uh, access point yeah, yeah, to the gay and lesbian community. Coming here to Brisbane, it me a while ago, uh, healthy communities or quack yeah, at the time. Yeah, that was my only connection to the gay community. With that, where would I go? Yeah. We work so hard at Healthy Communities, the health promotion offices, to provide support for gay men's health and yeah, we, we're all quite passionate about our work. If we lose funding for the HIV sexual health program of Healthy Communities, we lose a precedent because it was the only funded agency in Queensland. We lose the ability to work with other communities while doing that work. We've always helped the broader LGBT community while doing HIV work because gay men do not live in isolation. They have lesbian friends, they have trans friends. Those people help us all maintain a safe sex culture and it will be